Okay. Uh, hello everyone. I am here to present our project. Uh, we basically try to do malware malware classification using uh, text mining. Uh, now, every year companies, big companies like Microsoft, lose a lot of money just trying to coming up with techniques for uh, malware detection. They invest a lot of money in this area, uh, and that is because they lose a lot of money owing to malware. Uh, malware detection has been is an area that has been under study for quite long uh, now. Uh, there have been there are some traditional methods that have been used so far, uh, which uh, which detect malware. But uh, there is an advantage, certain advantage in classifying your malware before detecting it. The reason behind this is if you go to a doctor, uh, it's easy for him to prescribe you a medicine if he knows what type of disease you have. In the same way, it's easy for uh, a software to remove malware if uh, the software knows uh, what type of malware it is. So traditionally, there are uh, some methods used for this. The first one is by 10 grams. This method basically uh, takes in huge files uh, infected with malware, and it runs uh, different techniques on them. The problem with this method is that these files are huge. The data set is huge. And it takes a lot of time for the models to train themselves across these files and then come up with solutions. Also, uh, since these, this method uses everything, uh, in the, uh, uh, I'll show you how we do it after this, uh, and you'll get a better idea of why this method fails. Uh, the second method used is dynamic analysis. Dynamic analysis basically means that you set up a virtual environment and run your uh, files through this. And uh, if, if these files access your system files, you know that it's a malware. So this is what we did. We had around 200 GB of, of, of infested files. These were basically byte files and assembly level uh, assembly code files. We tried to classify them between uh, nine different malware groups. Uh, now the advantage for this, uh, so uh, the, the technique that we used was to use just the opcodes as features and not the entire file. Uh, the advantage was that the data set reduced a lot. By just using the opcodes and nothing else, we reduced the data set from around 200 GB to about 600 MBs which made it quite easy for us to do classification. Now, here is an example of uh, a malware. As you can see, you cannot really uh, differentiate this from any other assembly level code that you might come across. Now, as I said, we just use the opcode, so we just use the first column of instructions as features. We don't care about the addresses that follow it, because they vary a lot, and that's uh, not where the malware uh, actually is. So uh, the traditional technique in any text mining uh, uh, model is going for uh, unigrams, which basically means you take in each uh, word as a feature. So as you can see, there are two push, one move, one and, and one sub instruction. So now this gives us some good results. But if you think of it, malware is basically a, a piece of code. It's not like it's not just one line of code that's infecting your computer. And this piece of code keep, keep, keeps repeating itself over the entire file. So it makes sense to take into account the uh, order in which these instructions occur. So that, that's why we went for bigrams and trigrams. In bigrams, basically, you, basically you, uh, you choose two instructions and take into account their order. So push followed by move becomes one feature, move followed by and becomes the other feature, and so on. And you do the same for uh, trigrams. Uh, these are our results. Uh, I would like to mention that we use cross-validation over, all, all, over our uh, training set. And uh, these are the results that we get for our uh, testing set data. Now, it's uh, as you can see, even with naive base, we have an accuracy of about 85%, which is quite uh, encouraging. And this shows that the technique that we, uh, the approach that we used, uh, that was using the opcodes as features, it really helped a lot. Uh, so when you when you're using opcodes, you're neglecting everything that follows it. That basically uh, helps you to avoid uh, letting those instructions impact your model. Uh, as you can see up here, uh, the best accuracy that we got was about 99.27%, which was with logistic regression using L1 regularization for bigrams. Uh, thank you. That's it. Um, so, one quick question. Uh, next speaker, please already come up and say.